So quickly looking at the gross or in bracket, you could say macroscopic type of hematuria. Uh, I think if it is microscopic, then you know that it's something that is very small. You might actually need a microscope to view it. But if it is gross, macroscopic, that means what? On, a, on observation with the naked eye, you can basically see the characteristics there. The hematuria is basically what? Passage of blood in urine. So if passage of blood in urine is gross, that means what? If you just take the urine sample like this, you can be able to see that there's blood in this urine and there's nothing anybody can tell you, right? So this, uh, this classification or this type of hematuria is what we'll be talking about in this lecture. Uh, we we'll go from the definition, the causes, the symptoms, the evaluation, and the possible management of this disease condition. So, we that the gross or macroscopic type of hematuria is a type which is what there's a visible presence of blood in urine. Okay, and this can be seen with a naked eye. So here are some points for you to note. Right, talking about the causes. It could be that there's what some urinary tract infections, right? Could be that there's some urinary tract infections causing this, right? And uh, it could be kidney stones. It could be that there's trauma, there was trauma to the bladder, right? Uh, it could be that there was cancer, like bladder cancer, kidney cancer, prostate cancer, and the rest. It could be that there was inflammation of the glomerulus. That's what glomerulonephritis yeah that's inflammation of the kidney filters right it could be that there was vasculitis that's inflammation of the blood vessels it could be that there was a bleeding disorder like hemophilia it could be that the person is taking some medications like anticoagulants aspirin and their side effects is sometimes it can cause you to bleed right so talking about the symptoms of this disease condition it's gross all right so there will be visible blood in urine. The blood could be pink, red, or brown, right? There will be painful urination. The patient will tell you that they are having pains when they urinate and all that, right? Uh, that's dysuria. There will be frequent urination. That's frequency. There will be urgent need to urinate. That's urgency. There will be abdominal pain or discomfort, right? Then evaluation now. That's basically like if you're trying to dictate the disease condition, or basically monitor it. You can do a urinalysis just to confirm that hematuria actually exists. You might want to do a urine culture to rule out possible infections. You do imaging studies like ultrasound, CT scan, just to visualize the urinary tract. Uh, you could do a cytoscopy to examine the bladder and urethra, right? You do renal function tests like creatinine, blood urea, and nitrogen, just to access for kidney function. And lastly, management. Um, if there's an underlying cause, you treat it. Like, for example, if it is due to infections, you use antibiotics for what? Urinary tract infections. You do pain management, you use analgesics. Uh, you, you increase fluid intake just to flush out blood, right? Uh, you monitor kidney function and urine output. Keep monitoring it. They refer the person to a specialist, like a urologist or nephrologist. Okay, because those people have special knowledge on this, just for them to receive special care and recover from the situation. All right, so that's it about the gross or the macroscopic type of hematuria. See you guys.